Welcome back, everybody. They are your local experts in women's health. And March is Endometriosis Awareness Month, and we're bringing the message early with the Caldas Center. Yeah, Dr. Rami Caldas is here for the discussion. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Well, let's start with the basics of what is endometriosis. Endometriosis is when uh, tissue like that normally is inside the uterus is growing outside the uterus, and mm -hmm. it can grow around the uterus, uh, behind the uterus. It can grow d at distant places like the diaphragm, even sometimes the lungs. Mm -hmm. And and so uh, and, it, and there's different hypotheses about why it goes where it goes, um, but uh, it uh, can cause a lot of discomfort because it normally isn't there, and the body reacts to it with inflammation and saying, hey, you're not supposed to be there. And then it, it, it kind of wreaks havoc uh, with an inflammatory process. Well, and let's, that leads to a lot of symptoms. It sure um, does. But let's talk about what those are. Sure. Well, interestingly, 25% of people with endometriosis are asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, they can still have the symptom of challenges getting pregnant, OK, mm -hmm. because it reduces fertility by about 50%. And so you can also have an awful lot of pain. Killer periods are not normal. And uh, a good example is I, I, uh, one of my patients from the southern United States that I recently operated on. She was 15 years old. And since the age of 12, she'd been tried on multiple different medications, so on and so on. And finally, her uh, parents uh, brought her up here. And uh, we looked in with minimally invasive uh, procedure. And lo and behold, this 15-year-old had stage 3 out of 4 endometriosis. Oh, wow. and there were so many doctors and, and nurse practitioners and so on who were telling this youngster uh, that, uh, oh, it's just a part of growing up, a part of being a woman, and it isn't. And she was right. Mm -hmm. There was something wrong. And, mm -hmm. and that, that starts affecting people psychologically, too, when you hear that from professionals over and over. Yeah. So that leads to the question, is it underdiagnosed? Oh, it's enormously underdiagnosed. We, th we suspect that 10 to 15 percent of, of uh, uh, reproductive age women have endometriosis. About uh, 175, 176 million women in the world have endometriosis, and and it is so common, and yet it is so. It takes an average of nine and a half years for a diagnosis, an average of five different doctors before you get a diagnosis, a proper diagnosis. It's really remarkable. Why do you think that is? I think with with the uh, gynecology training, uh, OBGYNs, they have so much that they're supposed to try mm -hmm. to learn. And when you look at endometriosis, it is a complex process. It's a little bit like uh, in residency, those four years of training, it's a little bit like saying, hey, why don't you learn neurosurgery on the side? Oh, sure. Okay? And you, it, there's no devoted, I mean, in my opinion, this could be a specialty unto itself. Mm. And that's why the Calda Center, uh, you know, uh, so focuses on it. Mm -hmm. And you encourage women not to take no for an answer. What should they do if they're experiencing these symptoms? If they're experiencing, you know, Talk to your doctor. However, because of what we just said, you know, it's estimated that about 0.3% of the 40,000 OBGYNs in this country know how to treat endometriosis. Mm. Okay? That is a stunning figure. If you do the math, it's, uh, it's, it's about like 120 uh, doctors. I might, that might be an overestimate even. <laughs> yeah. But, but, uh, but uh, it, I would say that find one of those specialists. You know, the, uh, you know, the Endometriosis Association is a great resource. Go online. Join Nancy's Nook, the biggest blog, you know, on, on Facebook that, uh, that uh, informs people about endometriosis and where you can find help and a proper diagnosis. It does not mean that, uh, you know, someone is going to necessarily want to operate on you or want to take, start taking mm -hmm. things out. No. Early diagnosis and, and management can, can, can head badness off at the pass, preserve sure. fertility, and, and add enormously to quality of life. You know what the first step is? The conversation. Get the conversation started with the Caldas Center at 920-252-7015. And an important reminder, no referral is needed. CaldasCenter.com. Thanks, Doctor. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning, everyone.